Hello everyone, welcome to another video of mine. Today we'll be going through the second part of our CSEC technical drawing multiple choice questions um, videos and let's jump right into it. Late at night, I think of you, your vision floods my mind. There isn't much I wouldn't do to be sure. Alright, so number 11 says, which of the following represents the correct procedure for bisecting an angle of 90 degrees? And these are the options. So which one is the correct procedure for bisecting an angle? And you know, bisecting is dividing into um, two. So you're dividing the angle into um, two equal areas. So... Um, it can't be the first one because you need um, um, two points in order to draw your two acts. Uh, it can't be the second one because of the same thing. And it cannot be this one because you need a different point in order to draw the 90 degree line. Okay, so it would have to be this one because first of all you need to construct the 90 degree line. And if you don't know how to do that, um, here it is right here. And then after you've drawn the 90 degree line, you can draw, you can bisect um, that angle of 90 degrees in order to get a, let me show you here, laser pointer. So this is the 90 degree line and this is the, the bisected line angle, sorry, the bisected angle. So once you have the 90 degree angle, you're going to um, bisect it into 45 degrees and this is the procedure below on how to do it if you want to do it um, on paper you can do so also okay all right. all right number 12 says which of the following represents the plan of the drawing above so above you have a three-dimensional drawing and you want to know when you are looking down onto the object on the top and remember in the previous videos which I suggest to look at you have um, six different views that you can look at an object okay that is in 3D but you want to look at the um, the plan view of the drawing in order to determine which one goes along with this um, 3D drawing okay so as you can see you have a hole on the end of it so this one would have um, hidden lines in its plan view because you're looking down onto it and you won't be able to see the holes looking down onto it okay um the reason why we can see the hole because we're looking to the front of it okay or to the right side of it if you're looking down you cannot see it so you will see hidden lines okay so what you want to do is look at um the drawing which has hidden lines and which has a curve um to the bottom okay so you basically would be looking at um either this one or this one right here so easily you can um even eliminate um two of the options because this one would be um a straight line because it's in line with this and it cannot be this one or it cannot be that one because this one is showing the circle straight on okay so just because you can see in the 3d drawing doesn't mean you will see it in the plan view okay so it's either one of these two and if you look at the drawing again you see a slight um line right here it doesn't go straight down so this tells you that there's a line that goes inside somewhere here and when you're looking down onto it it would be hidden also also there's a line right here where the corner is going across also okay so when you're looking down you would see two hidden lines this line and that little line that is um, going inside so it has to be um, this one right here okay and if you want to look at it you can turn it so that I can show you where the lines line up kind of so this would be this line right here this hidden line would be this point going across where you can't see right now this would be this one here the curve would be this right here and the ends of the circles would be these two hidden lines along with one and two object lines okay so that's how you get the plan view 
Right, number 13 says which of the following patterns could be folded to form a truncated square prism okay so if you don't know what a square prism is i suggest that you um go and do research on it uh, i will show you a an example though of a prism okay so this prism has a square base you cannot see all four sides but the first two sides are equal at the bottom okay and it has a square base okay so um this square base if it is unfolded let's say you have it made out of paper however the blue area is just empty if you um, break one of the corners and you open it it's basically asking how it would look okay so at the end if you break it here you will see that you have this shape and this shape uh, if you fold it out if you fold the green and the red out as a flat surface you will have this and then that one so right there and then you can see a pattern you have this also and that one on the other side though would you have this or would you have a square so if this and this is flat like that so these two are eliminated and on the other side it would fold the other way okay so it cannot be a square it would be um, this shape right here and then at the back you would see um, the rectangle okay so it cannot be this one so the answer would have to be um, a okay and here you have it again as an example um, along with the prism okay number 14 says which of the following drawings show a rectangle equal in area to a triangle and in the i think it's the previous video we spoke about finding um equal areas of shapes and what we found that the base of the objects were the same okay the base of the ob the base of the objects were the same so if you have um this one this one shows actually two triangles okay um so it cannot be this one because i said a triangle so sometimes you have to look at the words and see what they're asking for okay you have two triangles here um but the areas would not be the same because um the base is the same however this is not an exact um rectangle so it won't be that and this one has also three triangles also so it won't be that and if you fold this upside down and put it over here it would not be equal to the um the square as shown so the answer would be um, this one all right number 15 this item refers to the following views and here you have the view uh this is a plan view and a side view of an object the same object and they're asking you which pictorial view below is represented by the orthographic views shown above so um they want to know which 3d view represents um is represented below so if you look the first thing you want to do is find where the circle is and if you look at the circle the circle is right here and the outside of the circle has a curve or an arc the same um, shape but bigger next to it so you can automatically do an elimination process because it cannot be this because this has a square next to it and this one has a square next to it so those two are out um again it can either be this one or this one however if we want to know how many circles are in the object we can see one here and we can see hidden lines so the hidden lines actually would show the objects so automatically again you would notice that only one um one circle is inside of the object so it definitely cannot be this and this one would have to be the answer okay because it has the rounded um, surface on the outside and then you have nothing on the other side okay so that would be the answer all right number 16 and 
the purpose of construction above, the construction above, which is a circle and a semicircle um, intersecting it, what is the purpose of it for? Okay, and if you look over here, you would see um, the similar uh, construction. However, this is a full circle. If you take away the circle, you would see that um, this type of construction is used to draw a tangent. And a tangent is a line that um, touches the circumference of the circle, barely touches it. It doesn't go inside and it just touches a point on the circumference, okay? So if you look at this, the point would start from A, which is A right here. And the options are to draw a tangent to the circle from A, okay? So it cannot be from B because it would be um, right here, okay? So to draw an arc to pass through three points, we are not doing that and we are not finding the mean, okay? So the answer would be um, the first one. Okay, number 17 says in the diagram above, the angle EFH, and we are looking at the angle F, because if you say e EFH, you are usually referring to the angle F, okay? So it says in the diagram above the angle EFH is, and it's asking what the angle is. Well, we know it cannot be um, 60 degrees, it cannot be 45, it cannot be 30, okay? Um, if you want to look for 30 degrees, this would be the angle because half of 90 would be 45, okay? And if you look here, the only option would be 90 degrees because it's um, perpendicular to EF, okay? So your answer would be 90 degrees. Okay, on to the next question, number 18. A cube with an edge of 80 millimeters is to be drawn in oblique projection. So you need to know what an oblique projection is. The length of the receding lines in millimeters should be. All right, so here we have an example of an oblique projection of a cube and it's similar but a little bit different to the um, isometric drawing or isometric projection. Um, here you have the receding line and that is the line that goes um, away from you, okay? So for a oblique projection, you actually have two types. So the question is actually asking you about cabinet oblique because cavalier oblique, all lines are drawn to their true length. So the cabinet oblique, the lines on the receding axis, which is this one right here, um, are shortened by one half. So you have a cube with an edge of 80 millimeters. And if it's to be shortened by one half, the answer would be 40. Okay, so the answer would be easily 40 because you have to um, reduce the receding line by half. Okay, and number 19, this item refers to the following diagram. And again, we will look at it and see the characteristics of the object. So if you have a three-dimensional drawing with a circle, you want to look for the two hidden lines because it's within the object, okay? Uh, also, at the front, you have an L or backwards L and then you have a, a rectangle at the bottom. So you wanna look for the hidden line, and this would be the answer right here because you're looking for the hidden lines, you're looking for the backward L, and you're also looking for the rectangle. It can't be this because the circle is too low, okay? You see you have an equal space between, and you don't have an equal space between here, okay? It cannot be this because there are no circles or anything below um, the edges of the drawing. This is a plan view of it, so you won't have anything. And it definitely cannot be this because it's not showing the circles, okay? So the answer would be um, A. All right, and then the final one says, which of the following in illustrates the normal of an ellipse? So here you have four different types of ways to draw an ellipse and uh, the only one that shows the normal would be um, this one so 
let me show you what actually a normal is because some of you may not actually know and the normal is a perpendicular line after you've drawn a tangent and a tangent is a line that touches barely touches the surface of an object and uh, could be an arc or a circle or anything and that would be a tangent a line the normal is a line perpendicular so if the line is angled like this and a normal a tangent could be anywhere on this line it could be vertical it could be this way but for this purpose um we will use this and it is a perpendicular line meaning it's 90 degrees to the tangent at the point of contact of the ellipse okay so the point of contact is right here and the 90 degrees is um coming is intersecting the point of um contact okay so that is what you call the normal so this um this drawing or this construction will actually show you um the normal of an ellipse okay okay thanks for watching uh, that's it i will release another video shortly and uh, if you understood the, the answers to the questions and hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified uh, exactly when um, the video drops okay all right thanks for watching take care bye